Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a snowflake um, formation. We're just going to be using the extrude tool to create that um, type of animation. F uh, firstly, we're just going to create a cylinder um, because we need like probably like maybe five sides. But obviously, this will work with any shape with whatever you're going to be doing. But in this case, I'm going to try to create like a, a snowflake formation, snowflake formation animation. So we're just going to give this cylinder five sides. Like that. So the next thing is, like when we're here, we're just going to uh, select the faces. So we're going to right click hold the right click and then select face then we're going to select all these faces like that and then under the poly modeling menu we're just going to go to extrude which is right here or you can go to uh, mesh is it mesh i think it's it's edit mesh extrude yeah there is this one So from here, we can now actually pull it out. But what we want, we want the faces to be separated. So here where it says, keep faces together, we're just gonna click and drag it to turn it off so that the faces are separate like that. So <clears throat> for instance, we're just gonna start off from here. And on like on my timeline, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm on the first frame. And then I'm gonna hit S to set a keyframe. Um and then maybe I'm gonna move to I don't know. I'm thinking twenty-five. That's like a second. Or maybe let me do like like every ten frames, I guess. It might be quick, but I think it's like it's gonna work. So after I extrude it like that, after I extrude it like this, I'm gonna move the keyframe to 20. I'm gonna keep on extruding it like that. As you can see, it's animating like that. And let me go to frame 30 and maybe bring it up to here so now now that i'm here i'm just gonna create some edge loops like this maybe three i'm not trying to be precise <laughs> i mean i'm sure there's a there's actually a better way of doing this <clears throat> excuse me but I think you get the idea. And then now I'm gonna oh, let me hit Q, right click face. And now I'm gonna select these faces. These faces right here. Just like that. Oh. I accidentally deselected the faces. I'm holding shift, shift and control while I'm selecting these faces. Okay, so now we're just gonna go back to frame. Maybe frame 10, we hit S and then we go to frame 20 and then we're gonna extrude and then we're gonna bring this out like this. Like that. Oh, that's not working. So I guess let me do this instead. Let me hit extrude first. And then I'm going to set a keyframe. I'm going to go to frame 20, set, a, uh, set another keyframe. Uh, and then I'm going to pull out the faces. Just like that. So 
so that it animates in such a manner. I'm going to go to to these faces and select hold um, shift and control while you're selecting all these faces. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and select extrude. Maybe this time we go to frame. Maybe frame uh, 15. Then I hit S. Go to frame 25. Then we're just going to pull this out. We need, to, we need to remember to deselect the keep faces together. Just like this. So afterwards, if I scale this this shape down just like this, we have like this type of animation. Let me keep this at frame 30. Just like that. This is the like a very very simple way of of um creating like a snow uh, snowflake effect. I mean, obviously this is not perfect, but with this type of um, tool or skill, there's a lot of things you can do with it. So hopefully you find this useful and I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Thank you.